Hi everyone, my name is Maria Gladkova and I'm a PhD student in the Computer Vision Group at TUM. On behalf of my co-authors, Rui Wang, Nicholas Teller, and Daniel Kremers, I'm pleased to present to you our work on tight integration of feature-based relocalization in monocular direct visual odometry. In recent years, the field of visual SLAM has seen a rapid development of robust and powerful systems. As a motivation for our work, we would like to mention a state-of-the-art method, direct sparse odometry, or DSO, which achieves excellent performance on odometry tasks. Nonetheless, DSO doesn't offer the relocalization capability, which can be crucial in recovering from tracking failures and solving the kidnap robot problem. In this work, we raise a question of how relocalization can be enabled in a direct setting. As a SLAM task, relocalization poses a challenge in utilizing a map that is recorded during weather and seasonal conditions that differ from an odometry sequence. On this slide, we show two instances of such configurations. In comparison to indirect methods, which rely on repeatable and invariant local features for loop closure and relocalization, direct methods sample sparse points in image regions with sufficient gradient. Thus, they cannot guarantee any of the mentioned feature properties. Only a few works address this problem. Specifically, in GNNet, input images are replaced by learned feature maps to enhance the invariance of the system to illumination changes. On the other hand, LDSO proposes to replace a set of DSO points by ORP features while retaining the tracking accuracy and gaining the opportunity to perform loop closure detections. In this work, we proceed in the same direction as LDSO by combining the advantages of both direct and indirect families. In addition to tracking key points with respect to reference keyframe, we track them against a pre-built map, which allows us to estimate a global relocalization pose. To tackle the appearance changes between odometry and map sequences, we advocate the use of deep learned features. We further incorporate information from the map in the form of pose priors based on relocalization poses in order to improve odometry estimates. This way, we offer an extension towards a complete direct SLAM system. In this slide, we present an overview of our system. As input, we take a single frame image, bag of words database, and a pre-built map. The map contains keyframe poses and observed 3D points, a part of which comprises key points with associated descriptors. Based on this input, we can perform relocalization against the map. Concurrently, the camera is tracked with respect to a reference keyframe using direct image alignment. Poses of keyframes are further refined in the backend window optimization. Once the pose is finalized, we fuse it with relocalization estimates in a local pose graph. This way, by utilizing the information from the map, we can lift a common local coordinate frame to obtain a global camera pose. Next, we describe the proposed relocalization mode. Relocalization is performed in two steps. Firstly, we find potential relocalization candidates from the map using a bag of words image retrieval scheme. Secondly, six degrees of freedom relative transformation between the top best candidate and the input image is computed. To achieve that, we obtain a set of 3D, 2D correspondences and perform the perspective endpoint algorithm in a RANSAC scheme. The final global pose is computed by concatenating the estimated relative transformation to the global pose of a map candidate. With this information in hand, we can recover from tracking failures and solve the kidnap robot problem. In this work, we would like to take a step further and tackle questions of how the relocalization poses can be utilized to improve the accuracy and robustness of visual odometry in, in its direct formulation. To this end, 
we propose to tightly integrate relocalization estimates as post priors for both the front-end tracking and back-end bundle adjustment. In the following slides, we will present how such integration is achieved. Integration of relocalization poses into the front-end tracking is twofold. Firstly, the post priors based on global relocalization poses are utilized for initialization of the two-frame direct image alignment. The diagram on the left shows the original approach implemented in DSO, which follows an assumption of constant motion denoted by the transformation T. On the right, we show the proposed initialization where T hat IJ is computed as a relative transformation between the relocalization poses of keyframe I and frame J. In addition, this transformation serves as a post prior in the course to find refinement of the direct image alignment. We further propose to tightly integrate information obtained from a pre-built map into the sliding window bundle adjustment optimization. On the slide, we demonstrate a simplified example with four keyframes in the form of a factor graph. The newly introduced post priors derived from the relocalization estimates are shown as factors in blue. The photometric factor corresponds to the energy term introduced in the original DSO work by Engel et al. To keep the size of a sliding window fixed, keyframes are marginalized using the sure complement technique. In this case, we keep the residual energy as demonstrated on the right, where keyframe two and its constraints are replaced by the marginalization factor in green. In addition to the integration into the front-end and back-end optimization, we propose to fuse the relocalization estimates with odometry poses in a local pose graph. This way, we aim to combine the advantages of both modules and compute a globally and locally accurate camera trajectory. Specifically, odometry constraints introduce local accuracy and scale consistency. Moreover, due to the relocalization module, which estimates relative transformation with respect to seven degrees of freedom map poses, we are able to lift a local coordinate frame to the global one and estimate seven degrees of freedom fuse poses with the scale. Now we proceed to the evaluation of our approach. We show our evaluation of the integration of pose priors based on relocalization poses into visual odometry. We select different configurations of odometry and map sequences from the Oxford Robot Bar dataset and label them according to their weather conditions. In addition, we evaluate the influence of integrating different feature types into the direct method, including handcrafted orb features and three learned feature types, namely SuperPoint, ASL fit, and R2D2. The best values are marked in bold. The values denote relative pose error in meters with interval of seven keyframes. As it can be seen from the table, across all odometry map configurations, integration of pose priors based on ASL fit and R2D2 features significantly improves camera tracking. As for ORP and SuperPoint features, we have observed degraded performance in feature matching due to significant appearance differences between the map and odometry sequences, which influences the accuracy of estimated relocalization poses. Nonetheless, their integration into visual odometry does not significantly worsen the performance of the latter. We further evaluate the global accuracy of the relocalization poses and verify the benefit in fusing them with visual odometry estimates. The assessment is performed on the four seasons dataset sequences and three different levels of difficulty based on the map and odometry configurations. Image samples for each sequence are shown on the slide. We choose ORP and SuperPoint features to stress the differences in integrating handcrafted and learned types. The cumulative plots demonstrate the percentage of keyframes whose absolute trajectory error is below a threshold in meters represented by the x-axis. Since the relocalization might not be successful for some of the keyframes, 
the corresponding curves may not reach the 100% mark. According to our evaluation, fusion unquestionably improves the completeness of the estimated trajectory. While providing globally accurate results, the advantage of utilizing learning superpoint features can be observed in every conducted experiment. Due to significant appearance changes in the multi-season configuration, relocalization based on ORP features is unsuccessful for most of the keypoints, which does not permit fusion estimates to be globally consistent. Please visit our project page for a full demo and additional material. Thank you very much for your attention.